Greetings Minecrafters, Nonsanity here, and welcome to episode 18 of my Mod Sauce Let's Play. It's been a while, sorry about that. I got a little bit carried up, oh, carried away in the uh, Resident Rise 3 uh, Let's Play I'm doing as well. You know, you get started there at the beginning, there's so much to do, and you just keep wanting to do it. Well, back here I was stuck on the aesthetics of this place. I just was not liking what I had. Wasn't sure what to change. Oh, forgot to do the inside. Let's hop in there and do that. So these are glass. But I think I've got a handle on the aesthetics now. At least for the time being. I've been doing construction today. And Turtle's been helping. Yeah, that's good. And this is what I've got so far. Actually, let's go over here where it's got more built. And actually, let's sleep and make it day. Do, 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 do. I love the uh, sleeping bag. It's just so convenient to be able to sleep wherever I am, even up in the air. All right, this is the look I'm going for now. I think it's looking pretty snazzy. As you can see in some places like down there I've got parts filled in. I've started, excuse me, I've started to cover over this hallway over here, not over there. I still have to do something on the center area there, but the turtle built that pyramid for me. Uh, well, it didn't do the glass part. It, it can't apply the textures to the carpenter blocks, but it could place the carpenter's blocks. The thing I'm holding right now, the slope. It placed all those. I like these vents. These look good. I don't think I want the lights at the bottom anymore. Well, I guess so. Now the top should... I'll leave them there for now. I don't know. I will have to dot lights around the place to make it look good. Still forgot to put in the uh, vented area down here and in that one. And of course, all the glass on the outside. I think I'm going to have the turtle do that for me too, because it took me a while to do all that, and I still have to do the glass application myself. From the center here, I think that's just the right size, that square. I stopped the turtle. Whoop, I left block up here. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to look good, I think. Nice and light and airy and roomy. I can fly back over here and get at what's whatever's in these back areas. These areas, I'm thinking to extend the roof out at this level, all the way out to here with another arch starting here. I may do something different with the arch, either lower it a block or change the texture of the arch itself. I'm not sure. It doesn't really stand out well enough right now. But yeah, I got rid of all that glowstone out of the roof, but I should be able to add some back, I thought. Maybe not. I really didn't leave room for it here. Suppose if I raised now. No, it won't have the glowstone on the roof anymore. That's okay. You really can't see it unless you're flying. Yeah, I think that's looking good. I like the blue and the white, and the, the proportions look good. There's just the right amount of blue and white, I think on the roof. Here I'm thinking extended in flat for a little ways. Or maybe maybe add a groove up here and through the glowstone. That that might work. I could even make the glowstone trapped top and bottom. Hmm. 
So that might require source blocks all the way around to make it look nice from underneath. But then you could fly right through it. <laughs> Be a way to get in and out just by coming over here and dropping through the glowstone. Keep it trapped with the same crayon blocks. Yeah, but then after extending the square flat inwards, then have a steep spire going up in the middle. I think that a steep point like, like that tall would look good. So I'll have to try that and see how it looks. I think it'll look good. So yeah, I'm going to continue building this out. I mean, there's not much to uh, to show you while I'm building. I mean, it's a lot of the same thing over and over again, block placing. But uh, I'll come back and we'll do some more technical stuff. And uh, at least demonstrate or show off the aesthetics. So I'll be back in a bit with more of this. I like this arch. This looks good. Spire, I'm not too sure about. We'll go take a look at that. But that arch, I do like that. And then from in here, we get the uh, alternating lines up there, which looks good, I think. I'm not sure what I want to do there. Maybe I can run some something yellow up there, just stripes of yellow. Might work. Ooh, these are different heights. This one is too high. I think this is like the first one I did. So it's a little different. Or, or do I like it better higher like that? Or flush? No, I like it flush. <laughs> I may change my mind, but for now, let's make it look like the others. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things is not quite the same. You know, I grew up with Sesame Street. It's still on, but my daughter doesn't never really watched it. Wonder if they're losing their touch. I hope not. It's midnight, random babblings. All right, that works better. But yeah, let's see the spire up here. Um, it's not as tall as I thought it would be, but I, I do like the shape of it. It's like if I just extend, I, I'm reaching up to a point on the screen, you can't see that. If just like the whole thing lifted up one more, you know, four more blocks to be four more blocks high, I think I'd like it more. Right now, it looks like it's been shoved down into the... And again, it shouldn't be too tall. It's not like the it's the focal point. But it does look too small, doesn't it? I don't know. What do you think? I'll wait to fix that, because that doesn't mean tearing it all down and rebuilding it four blocks higher. And I don't know. Again, it's not going to be seen except from far away, so let's... I don't think you can really see it from inside. It's just a square on the ceiling from inside. I don't know. I guess it's all right. Again, it's just not supposed to be the focal point, but it just looks... It looks out of balance compared to the pyramid below it, I guess. It should be just a little bit higher. Just to balance with it. But I do like the arch. I wasn't think, thinking about extending the arch all the way out, but that solves that problem in a very clean and interesting looking way. It has that sort of multi-layered look to it. Now, I might make the arch twice as thick so you can see some white on the over over here. Let's try that, see how that looks. Breaky, breaky glass. Is that 
all gone? Okay. So now... many one too many again let's go inside get the one I missed this side is different is it no, I guess not that does need to be replaced like that and the one above it, too. Alright, how does that look from outside? I think it looks better. It defines the archway more. It doesn't just sort of blend in. Mm, or does it? Well, it doesn't blend in, but does it, does it look better? These are the sort of things that slow me down when I'm doing the aesthetics. Just little tiny differences. Which is better? And I have the F7 turned on. I don't know. I'm inclined to say that one. So let's look at it from other angles. Ground. Yeah, that looks a bit more archy, I guess. And here... Yeah. That's okay. Excuse me. <laughs> My automatic feed bag is still feeding me. I might see about changing this block. I could get rid of that one. So there's glass. Mm. Be nice if... I got daylight coming down through that spot. I might change the point on the spire a little bit. Yeah, I do like it thicker. Over here it looks sort of anemic, but there it looks more like it's a structural thing holding up the ceiling. Yeah, definitely double thick. Definitely double thick. So, thicken this one on the outside or on the inside. I think it should be flush here. But it could also start from over here and extend farther out and actually remove, change this part to glass and have a double thick farther out. I think that's the way to go. All right, well, I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, this is looking good. I like it. I like it. Not so liking the different lengths here, but this will be obviously part of the hallway when the hallway is fully built in. And they, yeah, and then this is just the hallway coming out this way. So I think it'll be okay. It's definitely shaping up nicely. Oh, yes, the central tower looks much better when it's a little bit bigger. It just looks more balanced, doesn't it? I think it's like the length of the slope that makes the match. And now I've, I wanted to, uh, well, I still have that piece up at the top. I want that to be clear. Oh, I know. Put one more piece of glass. And then that. Now, white, and slopes again, come on. With these things, if you make sure you hit along the edge of the block you want the heel to be, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, now there's clear glass going down because this top one, instead of being 
solid graphite like these, it's actually a block of glass with some garage doors in front of it. <laughs> Just from a distance, it looks mostly like black, but it also has that sort of divided image. But from over here, you can't tell. Since you can't make graphite covers, they don't microblock. That looks good. And it looks a little bit, actually it looks a bit big. <laughs> don't think I like it now from down here. I don't know, I guess I can keep it for now. I'll let it grow on me. See if it grows stale or fresher. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. But I have a lot of duplication to go on because the whole other side here is blank and uh, I have to do something in those. Oh, that looks very cool. Right in the center. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> and this spot will be a little bit better lit because of that direct access to the sky. Yeah, it looks brighter here. The sky was darkening before. Not that you'll see much sky in here once everything's filled in, like all that. So I've got a lot to still do. I still haven't even put in this ramp or textured that one and that one. So much to do still, just to get the basic core of the building put together. And then there's all the buildings, all the rooms that are going to go around the outer edge. That's when I can start doing, like, the mob farm. I'm going to move that over here. I think that'll be here on the north side. And then I'll have a botania room. And, you know, a whole bunch of other things. So I'm going to cut this episode short because <laughs> there's just not much technical going on yet. But I think this is looking good. I don't like that ball. It's already grown. I've already grown tired of it. Goodbye, ball. That's loud. I'm just going to leave it with a glass spire for now. That just looks cleaner. Yeah, I like that better. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I know a wizard's knob has a, a ball on the end, but uh, knob on the, a wizard's staff has a knob on the end, but that's not a wizard's staff. Yeah, I say that in honor of Terry Pratchett, who I just found out passed away, a favorite writer of mine. I've mentioned some books before in some of these series. If you haven't read any of the Discworld books, you're missing out. All right, so this is Nonsanity signing out. The base is coming along. I'm actually liking it now. I'm excited to keep working on it. Though not so excited to do the slug work, so I'm going to start teaching some turtles to be my slugs and they'll crawl around and do the grunt work well most of it all right this is non-sanity signing out take care be good see you next time and bye bye